if you were to, like, to click off the top three of the, the pieces that are teachable to create that conversational climate? Um, well, the easy ones are how you get the thing going, um, okay. how you create a room, who's permitted in the room, who, who you want in the room, how you, how you seat them uh, as a media, or at least the thinking in terms of the strategy, the format okay. of the conversation, and how you as a mediator quite literally initiate discussion. Yes. People to make comments first, and you create a climate. I think, and my perspective is, mediator ought to make some opening remarks, whatever the setting, whatever the experience of the parties, um, to create a climate. I think all of that's teachable. I think it is very teachable to identify, to, to teach people how to identify and distinguish mediationable from non-mediationable issues. In fact, I think that's central and that people who fail to distinguish between an interest, an issue, and a proposal are not teaching people to be effective mediators. So I, I think that's teachable, uh, and one, it can do it with, the, um, with exercises. I think it's teachable to identify ways in which mediators can propel people to consider options. Mm -hmm. I mean, the label I use are persuasive techniques. I think there is, there are, quote, moves that Christopher Moore would label it, you know, a mediator move. Mm -hmm. I think there are a laundry list of things a mediator can do to try to get people to reflect on whether or not there are ways of resolving it other than what they're proposing. 